I do warn our viewers in this piece, some of what you may see is disturbing. Around four in the morning, thousands of Palestinians are already camped out by the coastal road in western Gaza City. Humanitarian aid trucks are reportedly en route, a rarity in northern Gaza, where hundreds of thousands are now on the brink of famine. As the convoy passes an Israeli military checkpoint and enters Gaza City, hundreds desperate for food swarm the trucks, as seen in this drone video released by the Israeli military. Many climb onto the trucks, grabbing what they can, when suddenly... The Israeli military opens fire, killing and wounding about 20 people in the crowd, according to local journalist Khader al-Zanun, who was on the scene. Pandemonium ensues. As people run away, eyewitnesses say the truck drivers speed off, killing dozens more people. The Palestinian Ministry of Health says at least 104 people were killed altogether and more than 700 injured. CNN is unable to independently confirm those numbers. The Israeli military acknowledges its troops shot people near the convoy, but says the gunfire was unrelated and came after people were already killed in a stampede. In a second event, in a short distance away, we also had a, a group of people that approached the military forces in a war zone, um, the forces opened fire in the air to distance them, warning fire, in order to get people out of harm's way. Unfortunately, they proceeded to advance, and indeed they're a perceived threat, um, and the forces opened fire. Of course, I will say we're continuing to investigate, continuing to inquire in our after actions activities. Live now look there as well in Jerusalem. All right, well, earlier today I spoke with an official uh, at the IDF talking about these now competing narratives of what exactly happened in northern Gaza, what exactly happened when it came to this crowd crush at this humanitarian aid convoy. Uh, the Gaza-run health ministry there uh, said Israeli forces opened fire indiscriminately on these Palestinian civilians, innocent ones at that, who just were clamoring for more aid. But the IDF strongly refutes that line, strongly refutes that account. Here's our interview. And here on Live Now from Fox, we always give you the latest developments and updates in the Israel-Hamas war, and including one today especially. I want to show some of this video put out by the IDF today. So, according to Reuters, Gaza Health Authority said that Israeli forces today shot dead more than 100 Palestinians as they waited for an aid delivery. Israel, though, challenging the death toll and said many of the victims were run over by aid trucks. Now, the IDF on Twitter put this out today. They said this, that this morning, humanitarian aid trucks entered northern Gaza. Residents surrounded the trucks and looted the supplies being delivered. As a result of the pushing, trampling, and being run over by the trucks, dozens of Gazans were killed and injured. Let's go overseas now to Gaza, where there is growing international outrage after more than 100 people were killed when Israeli troops opened fire on civilians gathered around food aid trucks in Gaza City. According to eyewitnesses, many were killed in an ensuing stampede as people ran from the gunfire. CBS's MTS Tayeb reports tonight from Israel. A truck once carrying life-saving aid now piled with the bodies of those who had come in desperation for help. Eyewitnesses told CBS News Israeli forces opened fire as people crowded around the convoy carrying basics like flour. Israel's military released this heavily edited drone video of what it says shows how many were killed in a stampede around the aid trucks. But admitted to shooting at a smaller group of people, which it described as a, quote, imminent threat. How do you define a threat? Anybody approaching the forces, despite being um, warned not to, pose a threat. How do you account for the fact that we have seen people with gunshot wounds to their chest, to their arms? No, I can't confirm that. The injured were rushed to the few functioning hospitals in Gaza City. Doctors told CBS News the majority of the dead were from gunshot wounds. <laughs> Israeli tanks came out and then they opened fire, this man says. This is my brother who went to bring food for his children. 
This latest violence also led to a grim milestone. The Hamas-run Ministry of Health says more than 30,000 Palestinians, mainly women and children, have been killed since the start of the war between Israel and Hamas. That's about one in 70 people in Gaza, half a million of which are also facing acute starvation, according to the UN, with the Pentagon now actively planning airdrops of aid into Gaza, which can't come soon enough. And tonight, President Biden acknowledged the shootings would complicate the talks, while a Hamas spokesman told CBS News they could not negotiate with Israel while Palestinians were being killed in what he described as cold blood. Nora. MTS Tayab, thank you.